we've learned something profound about what's sometimes called the plasticity of the brain. That the brain is malleable, is able to change. We can take that up and scale that up to levels where it's actually changes in the brain circuitry, how brain regions are communicating with each other over time and as a result of environmental influences. We think of it in changes in synapses, how these neurons are actually touching each other and communicating with each other. And we know in depression that the number and the strength of these interconnections decreases. With ketamine, we see a regrowth in the interconnectedness and number of these synapses to connect with each other. Ketamine is a drug that, at this point, is reserved for people who haven't had an adequate response to at least two prior trials of antidepressant medications. We think that one of the things that ketamine does that helps to explain its antidepressant effects is help the brain to regrow the, the synapses, the connections between nerve cells. So we think that we're actually targeting a, a different system in the brain than typical antidepressants are targeting. And that may be why ketamine works so well, even for patients who have not had success with a number of different standard antidepressants. There's evidence that ketamine can have very rapid onset of effects in neuroplasticity. We think that this may open a critical period where now the brain is more plastic, both at the cellular level but possibly even at the functional level where we can start to work to change people's reference of thinking or their ability to respond and adapt to new social or environmental stimuli. With ketamine, what we're doing is pinging the brain and triggering the brain's resilience mechanisms to promote the maintenance of healthy circuits in the brain. The real goal is to have treatments that can maintain that response. We've been very interested and very active in pursuing ways of using other uh, ancillary therapies like cognitive behavioral therapy to actually work with the patient to not only have them feel better, but to develop new ways of adapting and having new cognitive strategies of dealing with future stressors to try to prevent relapse. Ketamine can help you with the part of depression that involves reducing the symptoms of depression, but people need psychotherapy to help make sense of what that change means for them in their lives. So we think of ketamine as part of treatment, but not the entire treatment. When you watch patients get treated, it's really exciting because patients come in clearly struggling, clearly suffering, and you can see a change on their face. And when you think about the average amount of time that it takes for a standard antidepressant trial to work, it's two, four, six, eight weeks. For some patients, it can be an hour with ketamine.